My wife Brooke and I recently bought this cabin on five acres and although this abandoned cabin's got tons of problems, it doesn't have any bigger than the trees sitting on the roof. So today with the help of my brother Ryan, we're going to try to get all these logs off this roof without anybody getting hurt. My name's Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical. Stay tuned. What more could a couple country boys ask for than a beautiful, cold, crisp day and a giant, dangerous jigsaw puzzle of timber that you can only solve with chainsaws, patience, and good decisions. Now the first things first, we're going to have to clean out the area that we need to work in. Not only do we have these big down trees on the buildings, but we also have trees on top of the trees. We'll need to get the brush out of the way and at least clear an area to walk around the project so we can get started. Now the plan is we're going to build a ladder on these white pine. That'll get us right up into the heart of the mess and we can start cutting out branches and clearing it out from the inside. Now if there's one thing I don't trust it's extension ladders so we're just going to build our own. As we're working our way up this ladder build, we're going to take a few minutes to clean out the branches that are in the way. Ryan brought this electric pole saw. He's running it off an extension cord in a power station. What a genius idea. It's already been the perfect tool for the job more than once and we're just getting started. Just like that, we've got a safe route right up into the middle of the brush. <laughs> There's the chimney. Believe it or not, it's right there in the middle. Now the first thing that needs to be done is I need to trim out enough area to work in. You gotta have a place to stand. Okay, so what we're doing right now, we're gonna take down this big guy right here that's going way up into these other pines. The top of this tree is every bit of 40 feet long and I don't know if it's under pressure in the trees that it's hung up in. I don't know where the butt of this tree is going to go when I cut it. Is it going to go straight down? Is it going to come flying back at me? So I'm tying up a sling and I'm going to make the cut right in the center and at least the butt is only going to go just a little ways. Once everything's rigged up there's nothing else to do but to make that cut and see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to take and cut that strap now. I think that thing is just going to come sailing down that roof. We're about to find out. Yep. Anyway, there's the chimney inside of there. Well, cutting that tree was awesome. It was just as dramatic as I thought it'd be. But I figured it would slide off the roof and it didn't. So now it's just hung up here with everything else. Just more mess on the mess pile. But honestly, I'm really happy with how things have went so far. That tree was way up in the air, probably 30 feet off the ground at its peak. I didn't know if the butt was going to come back at me or drop down hard on the roof. But now that it's down, that's a whole lot of question marks off the table. There's a lot of hairy cuts to make on the other side of the roof. But this one's done, and that's a good thing. Well, I'm not having much luck shoving this tree off the roof, so Ryan is going to give it a shot trying to pull it off. Well, nothing's got her done yet, so we'll just keep trying things and see if we can find something that works.
Well, that's good enough. We can get everything else from down on the ground. Now, I was really worried about being up on this roof. It's a metal roof and it's covered with pine needles. But luckily everything is wet and there's still snow and ice. And this morning it was about 20 degrees. So this whole mat of frost and pine needles and moss and whatnot is frozen to the roof. And it's actually really safe walking up here. I figured it would just be an ice rink covered in grease, but that's not the case. However, it is warming up and it's supposed to get up to 45 degrees today. So if it gets too warm, this roof might not be safe. The quicker we can get off it, the better. Now the biggest tree on this roof is this big popple. It's about 60 feet long and it's heavy. The good news is it doesn't seem to have done any damage to the roof and it's being held up by only a couple branches. So we've really lucked out. It looks like we're gonna be able to cut the top of this tree off chunk by chunk without ever getting under it or beside it from the safety of the roof. And then it's only gonna take a couple strategic cuts of these branches to drop the whole trunk down to the ground. Now that last cut would be really dangerous, but Ryan is gonna be able to make that with his pole saw from behind those white pines we used as a ladder. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Flung it. Well, that went as good as we could have hoped for. Ryan and I knew that that big popple was going to be the scary tree to cut. Everything else is kind of leaning against the roof, but that popple is stretched out there 50, 60 feet, and that's a whole lot of weight. And it was always going to come down to one last cut where it comes loose and goes. It's no wonder tree service crews are in such high demand nowadays. Cutting timber up in the air like this is hairy. A million things could go wrong. You're constantly asking that question, if I make this cut, what's going to happen? Things are under pressure and tension every different direction. It's nice to be to this point, because from here on out everything is straightforward until we start pulling these stumps off the roof. Now at this point, I intended on using a ratchet and come along to pull these trees off of the roof. But Ryan brought 150 feet of some really good rope. So he's gonna try to pull the trees off the roof and save us the extra effort. Now these white pines are still attached to the root ball, so there's no way we can pull them out like this. I'm going to have to undercut these stumps about 95%, and Ryan is going to hopefully break them off when he goes to pull them. Well, I don't see how that could have went any better than that. Now before we get that last pine pulled off the roof, I want to get this popple dropped down onto the ground. It's sticking out 60 feet like a giant diving board. And if it decides it wants to break, nobody wants to be around it.
This big popple here is probably going to get turned into a shed at some point. Only one tree left to go. Once we get this one pulled off the roof, everything else we can drag off with a rake. Well, there's still a ton of brush up there, but everything big is now off the roof. I don't think we've caused any more damage than we started with, so that's a good thing. It's amazing to be able to see the roof line and to see that there's a chimney. You couldn't even tell that before. What a difference a couple hours makes. Ryan and I managed to get all of the big timber off this roof without making any major mistakes or causing any additional damage. Cutting trees up in the air is always gonna be dangerous work. If you've got a job like this to do for yourself, remember the two best tools you can bring are patience and good judgment. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. My name's Dave Whipple and you've been watching Bush Radical. Be radical, eh? See you soon.